right, so the first few years of a baby's life are the most critical, especially when it comes to what they are being fed. So Tamika Clough is the brand manager for Chassis Ramson, and she's here to take us through what our babies should be eating at their various stages of growth. Good morning. Good morning. No stranger to smell. Definitely not. Like the crew, Tamika. <laughs> How goes it? It goes well. It goes well. This is important. Definitely. This is one of the... Uh, best ways we can play a role in our child's development and it is to provide them with the right nutrition definitely and it starts from very early right six months at six months where what do we start where, where do we start what do we do when they hit that six month mark and they're starting to transition to solids? right one of the first things is that um, Gerber provides you with e very easy to follow milestones okay. as we can see in front of us we start with the supported sitter stage so that's about six months when the baby you still have to prop the baby up for them to sit down and you know feed them you mm -hmm. still are feeding them then you have the sitter stage where they can sit up on their own right and then you have the crawler stage where you know they're creeping around right. and then graduates or toddlers is when they start walking and are able to self feed so one of the first so um or supported sitter stage we start with first foods and i just want to show you here how um to look at the food and know one of the first things is that you will find on the package the icon the same supported uh, sitter. supported sitter. right and, and it also says first foods and it also says first foods. Mm -hmm. so once the baby is six months it's important not to feed your six month old second foods or third foods okay because their bodies are not ready to digest the food as it's it prepared it in that way so here's why the consistency of the first food is that it is um, a lot more watery than second and third mm. foods mm -hmm. right and um, having a little difficulty here would you like some help sure don't want you to ruin those nails girl That's they're beautiful right. <laughs> right so the consistency is a lot thinner than the other two foods I that we have in the spoon? Spoon? yes so so it's like a puree right so this is they're all purees really but the consistency is a lot thinner right in this in this stage here Right. And when it comes to the utensils used, right. um, is a softer utensil better because of the gums? Yes, you want to have a soft bite spoon, which um, Gerber does have a line of soft bite spoons mm -hmm. that are available in supermarkets and in pharmacies. So persons can um, go ahead and avail themselves of those as well. So um, you will find two um, that the first foods... Oh, I see the difference already. Right. So the first foods, as I said, is a, is a lot thinner mm -hmm. in consistency. And then we have the second foods, which is quite a bit thicker, yeah. more puddingy. Much more puddingy. As and you is can it also see here. A different, is it also different types of fruits and vegetables? Definitely. I'm glad you asked that. Because what happens is that in the first food stage, you have single ingredients. Right. Right. So you'll only find like an apple or a pear. pear. Right. So just simple things to introduce the baby to the food. Foods. When you move on to the second food, you get combined. You get combined. So you have and apples and bananas. Right. So multiple ingredients. And this is also with mixed cereal. Right. So this is more like a porridge mm -hmm. that the baby can enjoy. And again, it has a sitter icon on it. Right. Right. And so this is for babies who are now sitting up. And unassisted unassisted mm -hmm. right so the difference is again between the two the supported sitter they are still using the sucking motion to get the food in their system and then now the sitter now has started to use their tongue to move the food from the ah, front to the back of their mouth so okay. they are no longer sucking on stuff they're you know just starting to move Work their mouth. The mouth right learn the different parts of their mouth exactly actually that makes perfect sense because once they get to this stage they're also they're also making new sounds exactly. because they'll identify different points in the mouth exactly makes a lot of sense right so we're now to the third stage right the third food stage which is its crawler stage and again you have multiple ingredients here so now we have turkey rice, rice and, and vegetables, vegetables. Vegetables, right, so they can they are eating dinners now, mm -hmm. and um, this is the crawler stage as I said, and the icon is right there on the jar, so persons can know once your baby start crawling, this is where you need to be. No question. Suppose my baby is crawling before the typical time period with, with within which. Um, third stage foods are introduced well definitely you want to consult your pediatrician your pediatrician will guide you and tell you exactly what your baby needs because gotcha. some pediatricians have varying ideas as for Gerber we follow World Health Organization mm -hmm. as you know so therefore we say six months but your pediatrician can guide you accordingly Perfect. all right so now you see that this food is a lot thicker than the others right mm -hmm. and it has and bits little and chunks. pieces right chunks. so you you can see like it has a little bit of vegetable there a little mm -hmm. bit of carrot, carrot. 
and so on. So now the baby can actually use chewing motion. Some of them have their a few teeth, teeth in, mm -hmm. right? So they can start enjoying the food. And um, this is a great way to introduce pot feeding. You know, question, mm -hmm. before you move on to pot feeding, what was it, what's the portion size that we're looking at? Is one jar one sitting or yes. is that broken into multiple sittings? Well, you want to obey your child's hunger and um, fullness cues. Mm -hmm. So what you want to do is if, you're, if your child is not completely finished with one um, little package, then you can cover it up and refrigerate it. Okay. Not for a long time. You don't want to keep it two, three days. Maybe overnight is long enough and then you want to discard it. But um, you want to obey their fullness cues. If they're, hung, if they're full, then you stop. You don't try to force feed them. But usually one, one package equals one portion size. And I know that these also travel well. Definitely. So in the event that I'm not at home and I don't share, like, have to share it into a container, no, I can you feed them from it on exactly. the road as I travel. Exactly, right. So it's very convenient and that is very important because, you know, um, a lot of moms are traveling these mm -hmm. days, executive moms, mm -hmm. moms who stay at home taking their kids on vacation. These are very handy, portable packages. They won't get squeezed up, crushed up or anything like that. So it's good for traveling. All right. So we've taken care of the crawler. Right. Now we're going to graduate to the toddler stage. Right. right. So everyone knows that the toddler stage is the stage where the kids are starting to toddle around. They're mm -hmm. starting to walk. They can self-feed a little bit more. And so what we have here is that we have banana cookies. Those are so good. Right. <laughs> and we have apple cinnamon cereal bars. They're so good. Right. Don't ask why I know. <laughs> well, but, um... I like them myself. <laughs> right. <laughs> so um, these are very good for babies who can pick up and put mm -hmm. in their mouth and, you know, they, you know, walk around with it and eat and enjoy mm -hmm. them. Themselves. Excellent snacks. Exactly. Excellent snacks. And I also want to say that the juices can also be introduced from the supported sitter stage, right? Um, all stages can enjoy juices, mm -hmm. and so that's a good thing. Um, the juices, again, are 100% juice, no sugars, no additives, no preservatives, as are all our foods here. So persons don't have to feel conscious or, or, you know, or like they're feeding their child the wrong thing. Of course, you know, all our stuff are prepared and we have integrity about how we do things. You had mentioned when we were speaking about crawler right. that this is when the child starts to eat from the pot. Is right. it possible once we get to this crawler stage mm -hmm. that we can put some of our pot food and blend it with the girl? Definitely. That's something that you want to do too because you want to introduce your child to the how you cook and the, your style those of flavors. preparing food and those types of flavors. Mm -hmm. So if you want, you can, especially if you're going, as you said, going into pot feeding, mm -hmm. you want to maybe add a little piece of chicken yourself and then have them try that out. Let's make sure that it is in bite-sized portions right. so that they can manage. We also have um, snacks too. So, you know, um, as I said before, once they're crawling, they can manage certain things. We have um, snacks that are e easily soluble. Mm -hmm. They dissolve in the mouth easily and won't choke the child. And this here, this one here is strawberry apple, but there is also a banana, a banana flavor. Exactly. So this- Don't ask why I know. Yeah. Well, I thank you for knowing. <laughs> <laughs> and then you also have the garden tomato in the yes. little crunchies, but yes. this also comes in a cheese flavor. Yes, it comes in cheddar. Right, so um, persons can, of course, as I said, enjoy um, along with their child, if they like. Um, I, I know a lot of people enjoy baby food. So um, we have a wide range of products. These are just a few of the flavors that we have. And um, again, persons just need to look at each stage. Try not again to feed your child a second food if they're at the first food stage right. because their digestive system is simply just not ready to do that. It's one thing to do it in the reverse right. where if you give a toddler first foods, but you can't right. do it in the opposite exactly. way. Exactly. You don't want to do that. Because give them anything prematurely. Exactly. Because then sometimes people say, oh, the baby's tummy is puffy or something like that. It could be because you are feeding them inappropriate foods. So you just want to be very aware of that. And again, where are all of these items located or available? These items are all located in the supermarkets island wide mega mart anywhere you go you can find them mm -hmm. so persons just have to go in check them out we have a wide array of flavors thank you so much thank you. always so informative thank you. she is brand manager for chassis ramson tamika clough execu mom is brought to you by Chassis Ramson.